we all have the same uh, goal, which is peace, stability, and security for all the people of Kosovo and the region. Nevertheless, the 2013 agreement, as uh, Geracina pointed out, only focuses on the Kosovo security force. Uh, the police uh, of Kosovo has uh, been acting uh, and exercising its constitutional mandate throughout all the territory uh, of Kosovo for more than two decades. Yesterday we celebrated uh, the anniversary of, of their creation, and by the way, it's the most professional police force and a multi-ethnic force, because as the 29th of May has shown to all of us, those who are against Kosovo are also against NATO. The attack against NATO soldiers showed that these destructive and malign forces want to attack the values based on which NATO, as well as the foundation of our country, uh, are based. So we will absolutely work with NATO and the presence of K4, uh, but of course pointing out to the fact that the 2013 agreement, uh, exchange of notes uh, was a very uh, narrow agreement, and for all of our security institutions, uh, we aim to make sure that they are in the near future part of the Euro-Atlantic institutions. Uh, So-called Russian humanitarian center, very close to the border with Kosovo, which according to the American DOD is a Russian spy center. It continues to fly Russian MiG-29s around the border with Kosovo. It continues to increase its military uh, uh, political as well as economic cooperation with Russia uh, and, of course, coordinate, fully coordinate its foreign and security policy with Russia. Kosovo, on the other side, is at a 100% alignment with every foreign and security policy decision of EU and uh, NATO. Um, I believe it is very clear who are the partners of the Euro-Atlantic community in, in our region. Uh, but at the same time, of course, uh, we are fully aware that bringing Serbia closer to the Euro-Atlantic community, bringing Serbia closer to the West, is in the interest of all of us, of all of us. Serbia should be doing at least a little bit of its homework before it gets uh, the support that it is uh, receiving uh, from the European Union uh, because uh, the EU money should go hand in hand with the EU values. That's not the case as we speak. Um, as I pointed out, those who attacked NATO on the 29th of May are clearly known to law enforcement agencies. There is video footage, which all of you have seen. Uh, some of these people actually are police officers who came all the way from Serbia. So these are members of the institutions of Serbia. Not only that they have not been suspended from their uh, jobs, but of course they're not facing any consequences whatsoever. Uh, as we speak, Serbia continues to have 48, 48 forward operation bases around the border with Kosovo. Uh, 